Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I went to a flea market today and got a really good haul. Um, so I'm just going to show you a few things. Um, first of all, I found this 1910, um, I think they call them primer, 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 whatever. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has little ducks. But it's pretty worn out, and but they're little um, nursery rhymes, like the little red hen. A um, bunch of little other ones. What's the old woman in the pie or pig? <laughs> yeah, the pig pie. Um, just really cool. But I thought it'll be fun, like to cut these words up, use some of these folk pictures. You know, boy saw a pancake. Stop, stop. Said the boy, "You are a big pancake. I want to eat you." So that's that, and I'm, this is, you know, I mean, it's worn out. It's, what's a hundred years old, believe that. Okay, so then this is another um, second reader, and this is from 1928. And here's some more really cool, probably the same stories, but I love this kind of artwork. And that is indicative of the 20s, I just love it. There was a... We had a book in our library when I was growing up, and I would read it every time I went there. It was called The Upside Down Family, and they lived, like, upside down, like their table, dining room table came out of the ceiling. It was really cool. But anyways, I just, I love this kind of artwork. So I got that. Those were, like, um, the oldest one was a dollar, and the other one was, um, no, actually, I got them both for $2. I dickered a little bit. And then I bought... Um, these were three dollars each, and I got the guy to send them, sell them to me for a dollar each. And they're just old, like really fun photos, some confirmation pictures, and they're actually all from Minnesota, Minneapolis, and St. Paul. But I mean, even like this is really pretty little mat. <clears throat> so. Here's a happy little husband, mom, and daughter. And this was, I thought these were a really good deal. Because these are usually three to six bucks. You know, um, they're not the most liveliest pictures, but I'm sure I can, another confirmation boy. I'm sure I can have fun with them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and this is really fun. It's like a singing group, <laughs> but it's not. I mean, I'm just, it'd be kind of fun to do something like that. Nice little couple. This looks like it's from the 20s with her Marcel. Really pretty roses. And, her. and then here's another little wedding picture, maybe anniversary. <clears throat> then I got found these. These are from a Hawaiian cruise line and these are hilarious. All these ladies on the cruise and girls are learning how to do the hula. And these were uh, six fifty each which is kind of expensive but I got her to give them all to, to me for um, $18. This is really cute. Um, I don't know. I gotta think about it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay, and then this is like, this was my OMG moment. I cannot believe it. I it was a booth where a guy had like um, camping stuff and <clears throat> hunting, and then he had a cookbook. And I don't think I think he probably thought, ah, it's a cookbook, you know. This is a pristine. I mean, it is pristine. There's like a little bit here, a little smudge there. There's nowhere, teeny bit up here, hardly nowhere at all. My favorite lady of all time from Minneapolis, Miss Betty Crocker. It's the first edition of their book, and I don't think it was ever used. I mean, you know, usually there's pages that have um, food stains, nothing. I mean, that's... I have not seen one in this condition, so this I about had a, 
as Sam would say, I about, I about had a fit. So that, I'm just like so in awe of this. Okay, so then I got that. And then I don't know if you can see these, but these are egg baskets. And I found, I've got two yellow ones at kind of the shorter height. And then I got two big red ones. And I'm just going to put like, <clears throat> excuse me, for my craft, I'm going to put my punches. Because I'm kind of a hunter-gatherer type. I like to dig for stuff. Um, it's probably not the most organized way to do things, but that's just kind of, I liked it like my button, like my buttons. I mean, these are really a good steal too. This was a lady that had the little old books, <clears throat> and she had this, a little thing on her bag. These were, this is like two bags of buttons. They were $3 or $2.95 of a bag, and I got her down to two fifty dollars a bag. So I got all these for $5, and there's some really nice... Really cool but Look at this one. That's cool. That'd make a cool owl eye. Just really nice button. But she has this little thing to make um, flowers. You might, you know, glue them, glue buttons together, and then wind them on um, floral wire. So this is a really good deal. Look at that. Cute. I mean, these are the buttons that like GCD Melody Ross is selling right now. <coughs> Pretty. Okay, then um, the reason why I had to get her down a little bit, look at that one's cute, is because I saw these other buttons that were a dollar a piece, and I knew for sure that she wouldn't come down on them because I wouldn't. And so, and I only had twenty dollars left. It was about the end of the show. I look at these. This is, oh my God, these are just gorgeous. A dollar each. Hope you can see them. They're beautiful. They're glitter. They're all different colors. And I think these were... Some of them still have the um, the little wire thing on them. But she goes, oh, are you going to make some of my flowers with it? I said yes. And I didn't lie because I am going <laughs> to use these for flowers. But aren't they pretty? She was a cute little old lady. So these are just so gorgeous. And then she gave me that one. Okay, so then while I was looking at all this and dickering and bartering and uh, my scrubby was out looking around because it was like two minutes till the end of the show. So half the dealers were packing up their stuff and the other half were already gone. <clears throat> so... He was kind of looking around and he found the most fabulous cupboard. It's like um, they took it, they said they just took it out of a home yesterday. And they. she said it, it's our friends are renovating their house in Minneapolis. And they asked us if we try to sell it. And she said we had to get it out of this mansion. And she said we had to take this down like a flight of steps. And um, <clears throat> it looks like it probably is um, an old house that had maybe an upstairs uh, kitchen. And it's this gorgeous, beautiful hutch. I think it's about 10 feet long. I suppose it's four and a half, five feet tall. And I will show you that because they are delivering it right now. In fact, they're probably out in my driveway. And I will... Um, I will turn this off and then I'm going to go show you that and it is so cool. I can't wait to get it down to my art layer because I need some organization. Alright, so I'll see you in a bit. Bye. And here is my new cupboard. It's out in the garage and I have to find somebody that can move it into our lower level where my craft layer or art layer is. It's a little bit heavy, but it's gorgeous. Alright, see you later.